Good morning. Welcome to Live for Five with Pastor Ben. <sighs> Only we're not live. I'm sorry. My family and I are uh, right now probably on the road to Denver for the Rocky Mountain District Convention. Uh, and and so I, I wasn't able to plan out where I was going to be. We figured we're going to probably be at the on Wolf Creek without any cell phone service for me to pull over and do live, and there won't be Wi-Fi anywhere. So I, I thought I would pre-record it for today. Uh, the rest of the week, I should be able to have uh, actual Wi-Fi and be able to do this live. But anyway, we still have the same uh, verse of the day on the Uversion Bible app, so we should be able to easily. Uh, everything is still streamlined. We got the same verse. It's just not we're, we're just not streaming live right now. Anyway, uh, welcome. I can't see who's on, but welcome. I'm glad you're joining us today. Let's make our beginning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Amen. If you pull out the Version Bible app, our verse of the day is from Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 26. And I will give you a new heart and a new spirit I will put within you. And I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. Oh, so Good. So good. Now, it, I think they've done a great job of placing this verse really close to Pentecost. This is, this is proleptically pointing to the future of Pentecost and what God is going to give in the Holy Spirit. It, this is just so neat to see God is remaining immensely consistent throughout all of Scripture. What you see in Ezekiel is referring to the coming of the Holy Spirit. There are actually other parts that we're going to address as well. But uh, first, what I'd like you to notice is that if we don't want to press the comparison too far, but we don't want to divide the two either. And, and so what you might say is the cleansing that occurs in verse 25 right before this is connecting us to justification how we're made right with God. Okay, so let me read the verse before it. And, and, and think theologically, what are you hearing? What are you hearing? Ezekiel 36, 25. I will sprinkle clean water on you, and you shall be clean from all your uncleanness, and from all your idols I will cleanse you. And... Then what do we have? And I will give you a new heart and a new spirit I will put within you. Now, if you remember our sermon on, on, on Sunday, I mentioned that Zen Buddhism searches for God within us. The Bible doesn't talk this way. The Bible talks about God having this, God placing himself in you from external means. And this is this is so beautiful. What is what did verse 25 sound like? Did it sound like baptism? It should. And so while this verse then it speaks of the the sanctification that li follows the life that lives as a justified person, we might say this is a, a full and beautiful expression of the second article of the creed, Jesus the son and then verse 26 is the third article of the creed, which is the Holy Spirit. Oh, oh, so beautiful. So when Paul says, I need to die daily so I can be reborn daily, and, this com and if we have all died by baptism into Christ, we will all rise with Christ. Oh, oh, where does he get this stuff? From Ezekiel. How cool is this? So when Jesus says that he's giving you a baptism with the Spirit, this all fits within the framework of the Old Testament. What God is going to do is he takes the stone, the stone heart out of you and puts a new one in you. 
Now that's that's a figure of speech for then what happens in baptism. And then how the Holy Spirit is then filling you with the Spirit of Christ and the peace of Christ to live that life. (laughs) My goodness. Our God is amazing. To knit scripture together like this and for your benefit and comfort. It's not that Paul made this up and you have to believe just something Paul said. Jesus is not just starting something new. He's being immensely consistent, just filling in the gaps for the plan God has had all along. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, it is such a joy and comfort to read your word and to see how it all fits together. We pray that you would help us to cling to these promises you've made to us, the sprinkling of water, and the joy of the gifts of the Spirit. We pray all this in your Son's name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Have a blessed day in the Lord. I look forward to seeing you soon and uh, prayerfully live. Have a blessed day in Christ.